Hi Taurus, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I do tarot readings for the people from all around the world. So you can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. Right now, I'm going to do a reading for Taurus people that what you should expect in the month of January uh, 2024 overall. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull three cards out for the first 10 days, three cards for the middle 10 days and three cards for the last 10 days of January. Uh, so watch the video till the end so you get all these messages. I'm going to use tarot deck, gypsy cards and wisdom of the oracle in this reading. So let's start with the first 10 days of January. Okay. Message of the Taurus, first 10 days of January. Messages for 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 Taurus, first 10 days of January. Okay, so uh, the first card we have is High Priestess. So Taurus, I feel that uh, you're going to be low profile in the beginning of January. Like you'll keep yourself low profile for some reason. Uh, you'll not be maybe socializing a lot. You'll not be socializing. And uh, you'll, be, you'll also be uh, uh, keeping yourself a little bit isolated. Uh, and also not opening up with your emotions or uh, your feelings or your thoughts. Then we have loss. So uh, there can be something you will feel that, okay, this is not worth it. Uh, there will be some kind of situation that you will feel that, okay, I was thinking that it's worth it, but it's not because we have some money in the shadow. Yeah, some money in the shadow. So uh, it's like uh, maybe some situation will not be giving you that kind of results you were expecting. Uh, so you will be uh, just like you'll be leaving that situation or you'll be ending that situation. It can be any situation. It can be a small thing also. So you'll just be giving it up whatever it is that okay that's not what i thought and after that we have time to go so uh it seems to be you going in another direction so it's like uh, okay that's not working for me i'm going because we have wind of change in the shadow so it's like change of mind maybe change of perspective maybe or maybe change of plan, something like that. Uh, maybe you'll change some kind of plan um, that, okay, I was thinking that I should do this, but let's not do it. Let's do something else. Okay. Uh, middle 10 days, I'm not going to take this because I did not ask the, say, said the words. Okay, uh, middle 10 days of January. Messages for Taurus, middle 10 days of January. Messages for Taurus, middle 10 days of January. I take it. Okay, uh, messages for Taurus. Okay, I'll take it. Cards are flying out. Messages for Taurus, middle 10 days of January. Message for Taurus, middle 10 days of January. Okay, so the first card we have is Page of Wands. You'll be very free spirited. You'll be in a very youthful energy and you'll be uh, free spirited, relaxed, feeling a little bit light and um, I don't know, maybe like a wanderer 
like i don't know some kind of very wanderer energy so uh, it doesn't mean that you'll be just wandering some of you will be uh, but it's like the energy of like not being very focused on something you will have a little bit of intimacy you can have a little bit of intimacy or physical closeness with somebody uh, but overall you'll be very free spirited and relaxed uh, there is a very clear sign of uh, uh, travel for lots of you six of swords in the shadow so maybe you're traveling right now or you'll travel in january and um, also you will try to stay away from dramas from the situations which are dramatic or lots of chaos in the situations you'll stay away from these kinds of situations and then in the middle we have journey so yeah it's it's like uh, very strong travel energy so you're going to be traveling and then uh, we have this orphan here so i really feel that it's it's a sad energy but that sadness is not something happening in january that you are carrying with you from the past something happened before and you were hurt because of that whatever that was and now in the month of january it's it will be in some box in your head maybe behind but yeah there will be some kind of like when some moments in the day or uh, uh at some time that you just feel a little bit low that okay yeah that happened and you still carry that heartbroken energy it's like that uh yeah now let's uh move on to the last 10 days of january messages for Taurus 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 last 10 days of Messages for Taurus, last in the January. Messages for Taurus, last in the January. Okay, so the first card we have is Hangman. So there is uh, going to be some kind of, uh, like you will be really relaxed. And it's like you taking a break, you being on a pause. And in that break, and in that pause, somebody is gonna come in with this beautiful gesture, Knight of Cups in the shadow. So it can be a romantic offer, a romantic gesture from somebody, or it can be a work offer or some kind of uh, yeah offer presented to you or opportunity presented to you. You will be like relaxed you'll uh, uh, be like not taking any action but somebody will take action and i think with that action there will be some kind of uh, change of perspective happening for you it's it's tricky but it's it is like that and then we have falseness so uh, there can be some kind of betrayal it can be a friend, it can be a co-worker, it can be anybody. It's like somebody can deceive you. So do not, uh, it doesn't mean that everybody will get deceived. It's just a caution, uh, a warning you can say, that do not trust everybody around you because this energy, this deceiving energy is um, around your energy. And then we have peace. You'll be peaceful. Uh, you will be peaceful and relaxed because, uh, 
Yeah, there there are some uh, past regrets or things you're carrying with you, but still, uh, I think you will be coming out of that even by the end of January and you will be at peace because overall it's a very peaceful energy. So if I see this overall, uh, your month, I think it's a mixed kind of month. Uh, it's not very action-oriented. It's, it's more like a peaceful, relaxing uh, break time or vacation time or, or uh, it's not necessarily a break, but uh, it's like um, a relaxed time, I would say. So please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. And thank you so much for watching the video. Stay blessed always.